Yeah. It's supposed to be a mirror image. Uh, oh, I, 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 we can start over if you want. Can we re... Oh, we're live! Nah. Crap. Happens all the time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. We are live. I'm your host, Matt Delaney. Joining me this week, Martin Wagner. Howdy. Next, Next. Plus clapping. is Joe. How you doing? Fine. How are you? We're good. Right. What's up, Joe? I, I, I think you made a comment a minute ago that may have given me a little uh, insight, but here's my position. Who cares what others believe as long as they don't injure me and others and start wars? I, yeah. think that, I think that's great, um, and I would agree with that were it not for the real world in which we live, in which people do act upon the most lunatic of beliefs, which are the kinds of beliefs that do injure others and start wars. Um, the guys who crashed planes into the World Trade Center did so with a belief that they were doing what Allah wanted, that they were doing, okay. that, you know, that they were doing what uh, they needed to do to avenge uh, perceived injustices to their own country. Well, I care what he believes, but what about the the regular guy driving down the street? I don't care whether he's Catholic or Jew or what, as long as he doesn't try to impose his religion on me or lash out because I don't believe what he believes. And we're with you on that. Yeah, yeah for the they, most part, and I talked about this a little bit at the end of the lecture. For the most part, I'm with you. Um, generally, my rights end where other people's began, and it's the same for all of them. Okay. Um, however, we do protect people from harming themselves. I mean, if they're demonstrably crazy, um, if they believe that they can leap off buildings and fly, we're probably going to lock them up for their own good. Um, and taking little children to church is like teaching them the Grimm's fairy tales. Uh, yeah, the thing is that, and th this is one of the points that I made, that beliefs are important for two reasons. One, they inform your actions. Okay. And two, they inform your future beliefs. If okay. you, because it, there's a process your brain goes through in deciding whether or not something is true, whether or not you accept it. And if you begin to accept things that aren't true for bad reasons, you're more likely to accept other things that aren't true for bad but reasons. It, you get off the track and open the doors yeah. to a lot of other nonsense. Right. Mm -hmm. So while I respect everybody's right to believe as their conscience dictates, and how could we do otherwise? We can't, can't really, uh, uh, you know, mandate what somebody believes. Um, I'm still. It's like it's like people ask if we're call, if we're trying to deconvert people. Um, that's not a prime objective of the show. I'm happy. I'm happy when and if it happens because I'd rather live in a world where everybody embraced reality and that we can come to kind of, you know, common understanding of, of that shared reality. But you're well, right. I, I mean, went, for, I'm sorry. I went from Presbyterian to Unitarian to Hitchens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that was my, that's my religious transformation. There you go. Just sort of follow you, that path. Yeah. Uh, well, think, what you do know, you mean, little joke? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, in as much, you know, in as much as I think with, yeah, the average person where their beliefs are fundamentally benign, uh, it's all right, but then there are there are different also degrees of harm, right? Agreed. For, for example, um, that presumably benign guy who the benign Presbyterian who is just uh, driving down uh, you know the freeway next to you, minding his own business, may at the same time be the sort of person who would cast his votes at the ballot in favor, for example, of educational policies that you know, inappropriately introduced religion into science curriculum, that sort well, of thing. Well, he could be a Ku Klux Klaner without a hood. He, he could, uh, or, well, that's, even, that's a, a higher degree of, you know, malignity. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but, but even I'm to a certain sorry. degree, uh, people who have, you know, ostensibly really, really benign beliefs might still do, you know, or, or act upon those beliefs in ways that they might not recognize or that might not be obviously a harmful. They're potentially dangerous to society and don't even know it. Yeah, and, and, and other people may not even realize it. And I, and, and I think so that's why it's important to have, for example, shows like ours where these things are discussed. Uh, because, yeah, sure, it's one thing to, you know, uh, you know, strap a bomb to yourself and blow someone up based on beliefs, but it's, well, it's a much milder thing, but, equal, but not equally, but still still potentially with long-term effects that are very pernicious you know when you're doing things like oh but what you know you, out of all right. innocence saying well what's wrong with having you know creationism in science class yeah. well, it's i wish you guys had a bigger audience thank yeah. you well, we've got a big worldwide one so so far so uh, yeah to a certain degree i think that um yeah, uh, y y we need this kind of open discussion and forum because, you know, some beliefs are benign, some are extremely malign, and then there's a whole big gray area in between. Yeah. That's a... Uh, you know, I mean, in, in, in what Joe called and talked about was, you know, somebody's beliefs are relevant as long as their actions are sane, and, and I guess I'd say that you can't really separate the two. No. Um, your beliefs matter. 
you know, I, I, I wish, I really wish it was possible, to, um, you know, to just not worry at all about what other people believe. Um, but we can't do that because we're social are gonna, species. We're are gonna, yeah, we're, we're forced to live together. We're always interacting. Um, and what you do affects me in ways that you don't know, and what I do affects you in ways that I probably don't realize. And we've already had.